Hello and welcome to this Archman tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a map for Halo Custom Edition. There are several different files you need including the Halo Custom Edition game and the Halo editing kit for Halo Custom Edition. Just download and install those two files if you don't already have them. Then I'll be showing you how to model your map in 3ds Max and in GMAX for everybody so everybody knows how to do it. And for the 3DS Max people, we have the Bolts Rigger. This is the JMS exporter, and I'll be showing you how to set that up in just a second. And then for the GMAX users, we have Chimp version 1.6, and I'll show you how to set that up also in just a second. And for the last file, we have the Gearbox Model Importer version 2. The purpose of this importer is so we can import Master Chief into our 3ds Max or GMAX programs to make sure that the map is scaled to the correct size. So just download all these and I'll show you how to install the Bolts Rigger, Chimp, and the Gearbox Model Importer right now. For the Bolts Rigger, we just open it up and you, inside you'll find about four DLL files and this goes in your system32 folder so you go to my computer C Windows system32 and drop these DLL folders inside if it asks you to replace something just say no and then we have the bultrake.dle this is going to go in, in our max our max folder and my Mac is currently installed in my backup drive, but yours will probably be installed on your C drive. So once you're in your 3ds Max folder, go to Plugins and drag and drop the Bulltrigger.dle. Now make sure that 3ds Max is closed at this time, or else it won't uh, update the new plugins until you restart. So once you've got that in, you're ready to use 3ds Max. Now for Chimp users, you don't really install, you, you just leave it on the desktop. And for the Gearbox Model Importer, that's also the same way. So now I'm going to go here into 3ds Max and I'm going to create my map, which is going to be a simple box and it shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to explain kind of how I go through it quick here. And for 3ds Max users and GMAX users, I just want to let you know, that the UI on 3ds Max and GMAX are basically the same. GMAX just has a few less features. So I'm going to create a box, right click, convert it to an edible mesh, select the entire thing, go down here, get rid of all the shaders, and I'm going to flip it so that it's inside. Press the G button to get rid of the grid, and I'm going to go full screen on this. Right click, edge of my faces. So we got ignore the back facing, selecting the polys. I'm going to go to tessellate, put this to zero, and tessellate it once, two times, three times. And it's going to make uh, lots of little polys. So then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, well, instead I'm going to go here and select the ones down the middle. And I'm going to extrude this up here. Well, or down. Just extrude this down. And bevel it in. Like that, this will split our map in half, and uh, just for the purpose of this demo. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some textures because I'm actually done modeling. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and export this model right here, and I'm gonna export to OBG, and this will be the thing I'm gonna import into GMAX so I don't have to redo anything. Just a quick, uh, just a quick, uh, 
retexture I'll do in uh, GMAX so you guys can see the different process. But the modeling is basically the same. So um, save that, and that's ready for GMAX. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the textures. Bring this up here. I'm going to go standard, and I'm going to go to multi sub material, and I'm going to discard my old materials, and it's going to bring up a thing like this. And now I'm just going to select the first one, click on this box right here, go to bitmap, and now I'm going to navigate to my Halo Custom Edition root directory which is usually at C, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Halo Custom Edition, Data, Levels, Test, Tutorial, Bitmaps, and I'm going to find Example Tutorial Ground, and I'm going to copy the name, paste it, paste it. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back, Select the next one here and go to bitmap and I'm gonna think I'll maybe I'll grab I think I'm gonna make one side a wall here. So I'm gonna grab example uh, tutorial plate floor copy that paste it paste it like that, and we got two here. Gonna go to the next one, and I'm gonna add a decal just for the fun of it. So I'll just select the decal, red lights here, copy the name, open it, paste it, paste it, and uh, right before it, I'm gonna put an exclamation point, or actually right after it, I'm gonna put a exclamation point, it's gonna make it render only, and then. Come on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add my sky. So I'm gonna go in here and select ambience, ambience, and go here. Pick it kind of blue, but I'm gonna put the name to plus sky and apply that like that, and that should be good enough. So now I'm gonna go ahead and quick. I'm going to optimize this model so we get rid of some of those extra polys. Let's go to the optimizer. Convert it to another little uh, mesh again. You can see we got rid of a fair amount of polys. Got rid of a few too many though. But uh, that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select the top here, which is going to be the sky. Select the sky here, go in here, select on the blue, right? And I'm going to click this right here, assign materials to selection. And that is going to actually, I guess, add the grass. But you can, uh, you can also drag and drop if you need to. And that looks like it's going to work there. So now the rest of your model has all of a sudden gone nice and gray. And uh, this happens when you uh, add one material. Everything else goes gray. So I'm going to go in here and add my sides. And what I'm going to do with this part is go ahead and drag and drop the metal plates. Now for the, the rest of it, I'm just going to quick do a hide here. So I'm going to ignore the back facing and... Uh, Hide, select the bottom, drag and drop the grass on there, go ahead and unhide all. Now I'm going to select it all again, go down and do a UVW map, and it's going to start looking a little bit better. Change it to a box. And this is what we get. Okay, so about now, if you want, you can uh, you can add some like uh, some decals. You could say, I'll show you how to do that now. I'm gonna go to plane, and I'm gonna create a plane. I'm gonna make it uh, one poly by one poly like that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to right click, convert this to an edible mesh, and I'm just going to name this poly, uh, name this uh, O decal, just so we know. Uh, then I'm going to drag and drop.